Hello and welcome. Let's solve this problem together. But first, pause the video, give it a shot on your own, and then I think you'll get so much more out of this if you try it on your own first. All right, we want to know which exponential expression out of these right here, a, b, c, and d, right? Which of these is equal to 2 to the negative fifth, and this dot is multiplication, times 2 to the eighth. Now, when we multiply two um, equal bases, the bases here are two, and we have different exponents. It doesn't matter if the exponents are different. If the bases are the same, we add the exponents. We're multiplying. So this ends up equaling 2 to the third, right? Negative 5 plus 8 is 3. And now we're looking at these to figure out, okay, which of these equal 2 to the third? So let's break them down one at a time. The first one, now in this case we're dividing. So when we're multiplying, we add exponents. When you're dividing, you subtract exponents. So it's 2 minus negative 1, and that's 3. So there is our answer. But let's look at the other ones. When you have a power raised to a power, like in this case right here, you multiply the exponents. So this is 2 to the negative 3, or 1 over 2 to the third. Those are equal to each other. In C, we have negative 2 minus negative 1. What would that be? Well, negative 2 minus negative 1 is really negative 2 plus 1, and that equals 2 to the negative 1, which is just 1 over 2 to the first. And then d, again, multiply those two exponents. It's 2 to the negative 3. So b and d are equal to each other. And that's 1 over 2 to the third. But we're not looking for 1 over 2 to the third. We're looking for 2 to the third. All right, I hope this helped.